Hi, I'm Ravant. This is part 13 of a web services video series. In this session, we will learn encryption and decryption of SOAP message. Important synopsis we will discuss in this video are security features of web service, how to encrypt and decrypt a SOAP message, how to log and trace the request and response of web service. So let's begin the tutorial. If you haven't watched part 10, part 11 and part 12 of this video series, I strongly recommend to watch before proceeding this video. Security features of web service. By default web services uses basic HTTP protocol for communication. HTTP is basic internet communication protocol. By default this HTTP does not meet any security features and HTTP protocol message sent and received in a plain text format. So the data can be easily can understand. There are some chances for the third parties to view into the transmitting messages to or from the service. When client starts communicating with the web service, by default web service uses basic HTTP protocol which does not meet any security policy for uh, encrypting and decrypting of the data. So the third parties can easily view the message and uh, misuse the data. Encryption and decryption of SOAP message. When client starts communicating with the web service by encryption and decryption policies by sending the encryption data, once the server receives the encryption data, it decrypts and performs some operation and uh, gives its response as a encryption data. Once the client receives the encryption data, it decrypts and uh, displays for further operations. By this methodology, third parties cannot understand the encrypted data. So this meets the security. Let's we look in action how to create the application which encrypts and decrypts the data. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Click on File, New, Website. Select Template has a Visual C Sharp. Framework has .NET Framework 4.5. Select ASP.NET Empty Website. Rename the project as encryption and decryption soap message click on ok once the project is created Right click on the project, click add, add new item, select a web service, click on add button. Now right click on the app underscore code folder, click on add, add new item, select a class file, rename it as security. Click on add button. Remove these comment sections. This is the default constructor for this class object. So we need two methods for one for encryption and another for decryption. To consume the time I have already written the code. Let's copy and paste the these methods. This method will decrypt the data and this method will encrypt the data. Now let's flip to webservice.cs. Here, when we call this method, we need to give the response. security dot base 64 decode of encoded data
security dot base64 encode of decryption data So when we call this method, the data in encryption format, it will decode the data first and encrypt with along with a hello with the decrypted data. Now let's create the client application. Let's consume this web service. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Click on File, New, Website. Select a template as Visual C Sharp framework as .NET Framework 4.5 select ASP.NET MT website rename the project as client soap message click on OK button now right click on the project click on add service reference before adding the service reference address here, we need to run the project. We need to run the web service project and copy the URL. Paste it here and click on go button. So hello world method is uh, available. Click on OK button. It will create the proxy. Now right click on the project. Click on add. Add new item. Select a web form. Click on add button. Now let's create the UI section. To consume the time I have already created the UI section. Let's copy and paste here. It is very straightforward. I have taken the table and do with a TR and TD one text box for entering the name and for getting the response to the server. I have taken the button for displaying the result. I have taken the label. Click on create new button. So it will create the new button click event handler let's write service reference one dot web service soap client client equal to new service reference one dot web service soap client client dot hello world method we need to pass the string first let's we pass the plain text to the service display the re its response in the label Now let's run the application. Run web service application also.
so both of the applications are running let's put a breakpoint here in the security.cs object let's enter name as Ravant click on get response button so we have entered the text has Ravant it goes to the web service look at here the name is Ravant it goes to the base 64 decoded data but it throws exception this is because we have not encrypted the data we have sent in the plain text format let's close let's stop the debugging now let's write Let's comment out these three lines of sections. Now let's run the project. Let's run the client application. Now let's enter the name and click get response. So it returns the response as hello Ravant. If we need to look at the transmitting SOAP message, we need to enable the trace file. For that, click on the tools, click on WCF service configuration editor, click on file, open config file. Click on web.config file. So endpoints are created. Click on diagnostics. Turn on lock auto flush and message logging. Expand this diagnostics. Click on message logging. Click on lock entire message to true. Save these changes. Yes. You have to do this tracing file in client soap message in client application. Now let's run the application. Let's run the web service application also. Let's pass the name has Ravant. Click on get response button. So it returns the response. Let's we take a look into the trace file. Let's stop debugging. Right click on the project. Click on open folder in file explorer. So look at this, we have got a you know, WCF trace file, click on this. Click on XML. This is a post request. It is in a plain text format has Ravant and we'll look at the response we get. Click on this and uh, click on XML we get hello raven in the plain text format so the third parties can easily misuse the data in if the data in plain text format now let's comment out this three lines of code to encrypt and decrypt the data and comment this section 
and copy this methods and let's create a class object in the client application rename it has security click s let's remove these sections let's paste this encryption and decryption methods now let's flip to default.aspx.cs file string encrypt equal to security dot base encode of text name dot text security dot base base decode of client dot hello world method we need to pass the encryption data we need to display that result in the label decryption so let's now run the application let's run the web service application now let's pass name has revant click on get response so the data has encrypted in the client application and uh, it goes to the web service with the encryption data and it decodes that data and uh, encodes this hello raven in while respond giving the response so it comes to the client application with the encoding data while the client receives the encoded data it decodes and displays the result in the label hello raven now let's take a look in the trace file how the data is communicating let's stop debugging right click on the project click on open folder in explorer click on trace file click on this below section before encryption this is the data it uh, post the data in the plain text format and this is the response hello revant and when the data is encrypted now take a look at the data this is a request to the web service in encryption data and the web service returns the data as a response in encryption so by this way we can meet the security feature of a web service so the uh, third parties cannot view and understand the encryption data 
In next video series we will discuss CURD or DML operations in web service. Thanks for watching. For references and resources visit these links and subscribe to my YouTube channel for email alerts. Thank you.